Guitar tips. Guitar tips. Just the tips. Just for you. Yeah. Guitar tips. Hello and welcome to Guitar Tips. Welcome back to Guitar Tips if you're a regular subscriber. My name is Adam Levy. Each and every Friday I post a new tip right here on my YouTube channel. Um, just little bits of wit and wisdom, things that I've learned and things that I would uh, like to share with you. So thanks for tuning in. Um, this week's guitar tip is listen to the music. So what this tip is about, I'm going to uh, put down my slide. This is a brass slide, some Dunlop slide. I forget the model, but... Uh, I love it. And this guitar, I don't know what to say. I got it at a, um, like a swap meet for 40 bucks and it's amazing. Um, anyway, listen to the music. So about, geez, maybe 25 years ago now, I was at a, a master class presented by jazz guitarist Joe DiOrio. And uh, if you don't know his name, you can look him up. There's some great videos of him on YouTube. His last name is D-I-O-R-I-O. -O. Um, wrote a, He wrote a book called Intervallic Designs, which a lot of people, well, a lot of people from my generation uh, studied out of and learned from and were inspired by and confounded by. Uh, anyway, he's a beautiful guy, beautiful musician. And uh, one of the things that he said in his, uh, his talk was that... Um, Listening to music should be 50% of your practice time. So in other words, let's say you have two hours a day to devote to music. And I mean really devote to music. Not, you know, I'm not talking about the stuff, you know, music, listening to music while you're driving in your car or cooking dinner or whatever. That That's good too. But really, um, you know, listening, listening. So in the same way that when you're playing guitar, you should just be playing guitar, you know, not watching TV not uh, doing other stuff, not texting your friends or whatever, just play guitar. You should be listening to music in the same way with no other distractions. So just um, whatever, you're, whatever you listen to music on, whether it's your phone or your laptop or a record player or whatever, turn off everything else and just really focus on the music. Um, could be an opportunity to take some notes, you know, write down what you listen to, what you heard, you could be talking about stylistic things, uh, production things, textural things, harmonic things, whatever you hear, uh, take notes. That's uh, that's not something Joe DiOrio said to do, but it's just something that I would recommend. Uh, it gets you more engaged with what you're listening to. And uh, so that's really the tip. You know, if in Joe DiOrio's world, uh, music is, I think, mostly jazz. You might be interested in jazz, you might be interested in whatever, you might be interested in, you know, learning to play slide or, um, you know, getting your finger picking chops together or um, crafting parts for, let's say you play in a band with a singer songwriter, and you're trying to figure out how to come up with good parts. Listen to that stuff. So listen to records that have good guitar parts on them or listen to bottleneck records with great slide playing on them or listen to um, jazz or you know whatever uh, one thing that can be really helpful is it can help you appreciate what's in the box and what's not so if you're trying to develop uh, some facility with 1959 American jazz um, listen to lots of music from that period, lots of 1959 American jazz. So it helps you appreciate, you know, things that you might play that would be inside that world uh, versus the things you might play that wouldn't really be part of that world, whether it's, you know, a, a melodic idea or a harmonic idea or even your tone. Um, so that's one thing that kind of in the box, outside the box. 
And another thing is it can really help you develop some vocabulary that's idiomatic to that style. Um, that could be in the form of licks, it could be in the form of chord voicings, it could be in the form of some uh, articulation, you know, little turns or, or hammer-ons or pull-offs or slides or whatever. Um, and even thinking bigger, just because you want to learn 1959 jazz doesn't mean you should only listen to that music, but for sure you should emphasize that and then throw some, one maybe throw one crazy record in as part of your listening that has nothing to do with that and see if you can um, sort of create a little mashup in your, in your imagination and, and try and find something, something fresh by, by mixing a new ingredient into, uh, into the old ingredients, the uh, traditional ingredients. So, um, what inspired me to want to present this tip this week was just a question that a student asked me, you know, they, the student, she, she knows a lot of chord voicings. She knows a lot of scales and arpeggios and stuff like that. And, you know, she said, well, it's still, I don't know, it just, I and mean, this is in the context of a jazz class. She said, it's just still hard to get to where it, it feels like, you know, I have something to say in this music. And, you know, one of the things that I would advise is just listen to more jazz music. It's not enough to go buy the CDs and, and, you know, the stuff you're supposed to listen to or whatever. You really have to do the homework of listening. So, um, that's the idea. 50, 50. If you have an hour a day to spend on music, divide that in half between playing your instrument and listening. If you have two hours, twice as much, three hours, four hours, five hours. If you have five hours a day to, um, to dedicate yourself to music, uh, you are living a blessed life. That's really great. Everybody seems to be so busy these days. But anyway, you get the big idea. Listen to the music. Whoa, whoa. listen to the music. Yes, you can even listen to the Doobie Brothers if you want to. Um, so that's it. I'm Adam Levy. This is Guitar Tips. Um, that was the tip. This is the guitar <laughs> for this week. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in and uh, subscribing. There's a little button down below. You can hit that and then you'll, you'll get each episode right on time. Uh, I'm Adam Levy. Did I say that? I think I did. You probably know that already. Um, oh yeah, the sign off. Stay tuned and take good care. Really do.